Life never turns its back on you. You turn your back on yourself when you allow every closed door to stop you from moving on to the next one. Sometimes we choose to stand at a closed door and hope that it will somehow open. We choose to have hope and we're always scared that the door will open the second we walk away. We claim ownership over what we do and not have and fear of losing it, although it really never was ours. Once you feel any kind of feeling once, it lives forever somewhere in your heart. It can come and go and become stronger or weaker, whether it be a feeling of love, hatred, dislike, contentment, disappointment, gratefulness, anger, etc. One truth holds. The more you contain the feeling, the more power it has within you. This is where you have a choice. You either master that feeling or make it become your master. If you master it, your response will most likely be logical and your actions will be planned. If you let it master you, you may end up doing spontaneous things that may have seemed to be heart driven. People choose to deal with their feelings in different ways. Talking, art, music, writing, etc. A very common way that we think that we can express our feeling is talking. What we miss though is that once a word is said, it dies. That's it, it's out of your control now. Whether it be good or bad, once verbalized, part of your feelings become placed in the hands of others. For those with a conscious mind, expressing Expressing feelings is a red line because it grants other powers into our hearts. Contemplating happiness. This is the next one. Survival is not the same as living. Smiling is not the same as laughing your heart out. Thinking is not the same as we, as having a deep conversation. Listening is not the same as really caring. Words are nothing if they are not spoken, and feelings are doomed to be erased if they are not expressed at the right time. Sometimes we are afraid of taking that extra step that takes us from what is ordinary to what is extraordinary. That extra step towards really being happy because happiness seems just to be good to be true. When sadness is the only home that welcomes you, I often come back to you with the memories of you and the pain of you, not because I want to be in pain, not because I don't want to move on, but because they are a home that welcomes me more than my reality does. When you find comfort in sadness, it means that you need to feel it and walk it gently out of yourself. When sadness builds a home inside of you. Some kinds of sadness don't leave us, not because we want to be sad, but because we want to keep reminding ourselves of how brave they were to overcome such pain. I hope that you have the courage to allow peace into your soul because you are peace and peace is you. You deserve peace and peace deserves you. Okay, this next one is I see, sad I see sadness in your eyes. I see sadness in your eyes and I don't understand it. I don't understand why it's there, and I don't understand why I see it. Tell me, where do you get the strength to build a home for sadness in the sea of your eyes? Did you use bricks of tears to build its walls? Did you make a garden around it with every love that you loved that broke you? Tell me, did you protect it with every hollow hope you had? Open the door and let it leave. Allow happiness to colonize this home. I wish someone told me this when sadness drawn my heart beats, so I say it to you. Leave me to my sadness if you do not understand it. Don't pretend to care if you don't. Don't pretend to know the way because you don't. No one does. You told me, I don't want you to be sad. I looked at you when I did not want to and I told you there will always be sadness when it comes to you because you will always be the one I want to be with. But fate will never decide that for us. I'm tired of looking out the same windows, remembering the moments I was happy when I looked out because now all I feel is sadness over the happiness no longer being there. Rainy days and rainy rainbows and print moments on our hearts. What will you say when they ask you, why did you let her go? If it was her sadness, this is what made her real. If it was her sensitivity, this is what made her considerate. If it was her unconditional love for you, this is what made her loyal to you. But it's true, you know, that we walk away from what is real because we're too afraid. You left my soul through my tears, extracting you from inside of me, took the sadness out of me. Believe me when I tell you that the sadness in your soul will leave. And trust me when I tell you that you have the power to decide when you want it to leave. It will be painful, it will be mountain too. Go move the mountain, climb it. Sometimes a stranger can look into your eyes once and not only see, but fully understand your sadness. No words, no conversations. You just both know and you just both get it and you wonder how it took moments for a stranger to see what those around you for years did not see our eyes reflect the scars caught into ourselves